the final race of our program here at Tadashul, and it's going to be a good one. This is the Junior Minimoto AC40 Pro, and it's going to be a really exciting battle. Here are your runners and riders for the 2017 season on the left of your screen as usual. But the top six for this one is going to be very competitive. Ollie Walker on the front row alongside James Cook, with Dylan Meller and Eddie O'Shea taking up residence on the second row. But watch out for Ryan Hitchcock and Evan Belford from the third row of the starting grid. They are going to be surely an impressive challenge going into this one as the riders are ready. Green flag is in the air. We wait for it to drop. Riders are ready to go, and it's going to be an incredible dash to that first corner. Who's going to get the jump? Walker or Cook, or will it be one of the others? Eddie O'Shea getting a good start. He's got a flyer. He's up in a third position already, and through to the lead goes James Cook. James Cook has beaten Ollie Walker to turn one. Walker there in second place, but it is Cook that's got the lead on the 44 bike, and Eddie O'Shea is all over him like a rash for Bournemouth Kawasaki. And this is an impressive first lap for James Cook. Oh, he's got him. He has O'Shea got him. O'Shea around the outside. <laughs> Very sweet move there from Eddie O'Shea, and that's left the door wide open. Is this going to be Dylan Meller through? No, can't quite get the place. So it's Cook from O'Shea. Walker is third from Meller. Evan Belford in fifth from Johnny Garners, Ryan Hitchcock, Ross McGuire, and Josh Bannister. As here we go again into that tight right hairpin, and the pole man, Ollie Walker, finds himself down in third position behind your race leader, James Cook and Eddie O'Shea. The light Bolt from the second row. But Walker, as they go over that hump, looking down the inside of O'Shea, has he got that done? I think he has, yes he has. So Walker on the Moto Rapido Ducati machine, Eddie O'Shea on the Bournemouth Kawasaki, it's the privateer, James Cook out front, and he's got a good 15, 20 bike lengths, but Walker has got some amazing pace this weekend. Can he close him down? I think he can, Jake, you know. Well, look at Dylan Meller as well in fourth position. He was getting a little bit tight onto Eddie O'Shea. Eddie O'Shea goes deep into the corner. Now, surely this is Dylan Meller's chance to strike here. The Bournemouth Kawasaki rider goes a little bit deep there, Eddie O'Shea. Is this a chance for Dylan Meller maybe to get through? And if he's vulnerable, Belford's going to get there as well. Here comes Dylan Meller. He's got him through the kink. That was a beautiful bit of riding on the exit of the turn. But watch out, Eddie, because Evan Belford is now on the march. Looks like Eddie O'Shea to me, Jake. He's just pushing that little bit too much but he's coming down the inside has he got the spot back he's currently oh. got the straight line speed on this long straight Belford tries to get up the inside but can't get it done but it's uh, Eddie O'Shea then back into third spot but look at Walker closing down the leader he's going to be over him like a rash really soon yeah he's just gone he's left them for dead bye boys you scrap away I am going after James Cook I want blood and he's going straight for him he's making up a lot of ground on the exit of the turns in particular Meanwhile, that looks like Dylan Meller has got himself back into the action there. Eddie O'Shea still running in third place. But is this Meller going to make a charge for Ollie Walker as they come off the hairpin? I think Dylan Meller's looking really strong as they come down towards the hairpin once again. But with James Cook being caught rapidly by Ollie Walker, he's almost on him, by the way. Eddie O'Shea is there in third position. Meller, Belford, Garnes, Hitchcock, Maguire and Bannister giving chase. What a battle. Fantastic racing all the way through the field. Look at this. Absolutely unbelievable. What I said there, Eddie O'Shea was the cork in the bottle. He looks oh, like he is pushing a little bit too hard for me. It unsettles the bike and they're all over him right behind him. And look at the battle for the lead now. And this is Walker. Is he going to go look up the inside? No, doesn't have a look up the inside of hairpin one. Down to hairpin two. Walker setting him up. He's the only man in the 49. Sets a 49.965. Fastest man on the track. And he's come from 25.30 bike lengths back. Walker is going to back himself the lead sometime very soon. But the question is when? When will he do it? He has a look on the inside of the right hander. He's not going to be able to get it done there. He gets back on the throttle, really close, really fast hairpin. through the right. Surely this is going to be a lunge into turn one on not James him. Cook. Cook is not looking behind him. He's just going to try and hold his line. But Walker does him on the inside line. He tries to get him back on the undercut, but Walker has made mid-speed of him. Fantastic. Fantastic performance. Again, we like to see the riders improving. We know Walker's got a load of talent, but uh, he's not been, he's not had this pace over the last sort of six months or so, but it's all coming to him now. And he is a potential winner of this championship now moving forward through the uh, right-hander. Well, now, Cook hasn't given up, has he? No, he's he still hasn't. pushing on. Meanwhile, that. O'Shea is hanging on to third position Stop by the thread. Loses it, loses it, Got runs wide on the... Uh, Rumble strip on the outside, and look, that looks like Dylan Meller, Jake, I think, up the inside for third place. Yeah, Meller's got him, so Evan Belford a, is now going to give him some pressure if he battle. can try and come back. This is absolutely brilliant. This is third position all the way down to ninth, don't forget. 
An absolutely incredible squabble as they continue on. Now on the inside, O'Shea gets back through. Ready Pass and Mella. he go. Ready and he go. He just goes <laughs> straight down the inside. What a battle this is. So Fantastic <laughs> racing for these kids. I don't know where to look. It's absolutely incredible. Eddie O'Shea third. Then we've got Mella. Belford still sat there in fifth position. Johnny Garnes trying to move up as well in P6. He's now got challenge from behind. That's the Hitchcock Maguire squabble. Those two keep swapping places. Lap to lap to lap. They Who's two absolutely on it and just sitting tight behind his banister. That looks like a run wide there as the battle intensifies between Miller and Belford. Belford trying to come through and I think he already has. Absolutely amazing squabble. Who on earth is going to get this third place? O'Shea has been able to clear a bit of space up in front as a result of this squabble. These two up front, Walker and Cook, still scrapping away. O'Shea is third, up to fourth position. That is now the 52. So Belford has made it to fourth place in front of Johnny Garnes. So all the way down the order goes Dylan Meller to sixth. Fantastic racing, got to say this is the race of the day so far, brilliant racing and out front Ollie Walker, you'd have thought he'd have cleared off from James Cook but Cook's having none of that as he comes through the... Oh, oh no, no that's, that's no. Golly Walker! Oh, Walker, Ollie he Walker. out from the... Oh, he's gutted, Jay, he's Ollie absolutely Walker. gutted. Get, Ollie, get back on the bike, stop having a paddy, oh. pick the bike up. That's what he's got to learn from that, Jake. Just like uh, we saw with Jay Abel earlier on, he fell off the bike, ran straight across to the bike, picked it up. Ollie Walker stood there having a bit of a paddy. He can't do that, Ollie. Well, he's got to take the positives out of this, Jake. He He's had some fantastic pace so far in this race, but he's down and out. Well, that is devastating for Ollie Walker. Leading comfortably, just under pressure from James Cook. He did not let up James Cook. He continued the intimidation, and it worked. He now leads the race at a canter. So this is now the squabble for, for second. second place as Eddie O'Shea. <laughs> Battles on in front of Evan Belford. Johnny Garners has come through to P4. And still, we've got Dylan Mella trying to hang on to the place. But now we've got all sorts of battling. Hitchcock and Maguire are battling him. Bannister's not far away either, don't forget. But what an amazing end to this race. This is going to be for second place. O'Shea, Belford, Garnis, Mella with Hitchcock, Maguire and Bannister not far away. Emmanuel Brinton is not a million miles away if there's a squabble on the last lap either. So here we go. The final lap here at Tadashal. And is this going to be the best end to the season we had? You were saying this is the best race of the day, Alan. Forget that. It's competing to be the best race of the season as James Cook is en route to victory. But second place is anybody's. Yeah, you may well be right there Jake we'll look back over the season at the end of the year this could be one of the races of the season if not the race of the season gutting for Ollie Walker but these guys look at this Belford's it's, having a go it, it's still on for second place so here comes Belford as he makes a lunge towards Eddie O'Shea can he get there Johnny Garnis is trying to get himself onto the podium as well don't count out Dylan Meller he's down to fifth but he's not given up meanwhile James Cook out in front he's going to take a glorious victory and he knows it James Cook victorious as he comes through a brilliant end to the race further back and it's going to be so tight as Eddie O'Shea just gets there for second place Third position for Evan Belford. Fourth place is Johnny Garnes. Fifth, I think, at the end was Ryan Hitchcock. I think Ryan Hitchcock has come through to fifth position. He has. Sixth place goes in the way of Ross Maguire at the end of it. Seventh position for Bannister. Eighth, Brinton. Down to ninth goes Dylan Meller with the top ten rounded out by Mason Foster. James Cook takes a great win. Ollie Walker, I can tell you, would go on to take both races on the Sunday. So recovered a little bit of ground, but it's Ross McGuire that leads the championship. Moving forward to the next round, which will be at Red Lodge in Suffolk. Fantastic circuit. We'll see you there.